Oh, hello everyone. <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video, and I can't exactly say that I've ever been one to uh, shill before, but I am choosing to now because... Because someone is better than me at a sniper. And probably a bot because they dress like one. Which is frustrating. Um, TF2 really... Actually, hold on. I've got no idea where I am. I don't want to play high tower.
So I've never exactly been one to shill before, but I figure that now's the time because there's a pretty fair cause to shill for now. And I'm sorry if I talk as though I am very unprepared to talk about the things I wish to discuss. Um, frankly, I am. Uh, I am, because I'm running the anti-cheat right now, the mega anti-cheat, and I'm seeing already players that I've notated before as um, people who are not trustworthy, and I am hearing something bad. Yep. See, the botters, they play as every single class now. And, um... People really don't like that very much anymore. Um... That's, this guy's probably fine. Sorry, you guys can't see it because I don't exactly have the display capture enabled, but I'm running Mega Scatterbomb's uh, Mega Anti-Cheat. Um... Because that is literally the only way to play the game right now, is with the functioning anti-cheat. And oh my gosh, I'm getting attacked by bots that are literally advertising fixed TF2. How, how does this kind of thing work? I genuinely don't understand how this kind of thing can work. But people do it. And, uh, it's rough. Fixing TF2 with the power of Mega Anti-Cheat. Discord Mega Scatterbomb. Dude, but they're bots themselves. It's so... It's this post irony of everything that's really really um frustrating because nobody wants to play the game the way the developers intended anymore and community servers are very difficult to access really oh my gosh i'm kicking i gotta kick somebody uh Perfect aim. While not even looking in the same direction. Oh. And that's the thing. People think I'm a bot too. Or something along those lines. And now I can't catch a break. And see, I'm removed from the match by the system. And this, it's this low trust gameplay, really, that we've all been sitting around with and being chill with for a very long time. And we're not uh, taking it anymore, really. And um, the casual mode of the game, I'm just playing MVM right now to just mind brain uh, just mind melt right now um i'm playing mvm uh pfft. casual mode incentivizes casual mode is the game mode that the developers technically incentivize they go out of their way to say that this is the game mode to play by every indicator in the game it's top on the selection of game modes it's presumably by far the most popular, right? And it's really dumb when you have... I'm going to use Widowmaker! It's really dumb when you're unable to do uh, anything, really, because everything is stuffed full of bots, and then people kick you because they think you're a bot because you tacked on a little damage. I didn't... I got, like, one kill that round. Um, and it's... It's really frustrating because it kind of leaves you with nowhere to go and you wonder, like, is this ever going to get any better?
Um, and it can, if we make enough noise, right? But people don't want to commit to that noise, and it's kind of upsetting, really. Um, the only other solution to this, other than using the mega anti-cheat, is to simply hope and pray that people um, just kick all the bots before you show up into a server. Or you somehow are able to kick them all. Which is obviously a tall ask. Um, especially considering that the bots have now evolved in their code to the point where they can just kick you now. Um, and that's not very fun. So... So you've probably been seeing it going around, but there's this thing called the uh, Fix TF2 now because people are sick and tired of experiencing what you just watched me experience. This, frankly, stupid bot crisis. And I don't want to deal with it anymore because the casual mode of the game literally incentivizes... It incentivizes you to play it, really, because it's the one that's on the top of... All the mode selections, it's the one that really anyone would play because after a long day of like a real job or work per se, you probably want to just kick back, play something casual, play something that doesn't require very much brain power. And that's what casual is supposed to be. You're just supposed to be able to casually play TF2. And it's, it's really rough when you can't have that because your developers are just not taking care of the game, right? And I know it's a 17-year-old game, but that shouldn't be an excuse because, like, if it's, if it's that good and people are enjoying it that much, then it really should be in your best interest as a company. It's just, it's just standard business ethics. You should want to... <laughs> You should want to actually take care of your your thing, um, and people don't, and that sucks. And hey, I'm recording. It occurs to me that I completely bought the wrong. Um, canteen for this game mode because I've been playing a lot of pyro and sniper recently. Okay, here comes the big one probably. Sorry for my lag by the way. <laughs> It's very difficult because we have to be incredibly obnoxious about how we do this this time around because we can't just sit there and be like, oh, they'll just, well, if we're nice enough about it, they'll simply, they'll simply listen to us, right? Then no, that's not how this is going to work. And we have to actually behave like kind of meanly about it because we're, we're suffering. We're suffering. And nobody wants to take part in this suffering anymore. Um, frankly, it's a complete waste of time. And um, people want the ability to just play their favorite game casually. And when they can't get that, it obviously creates this resentment. 
Um, but when they can't get that, they eventually leave the game. And of course, none of us want that because we like our game. And we don't want anyone to not like our game because it's a good game. And we want people to play it. And we want people to actually still enjoy it. But there's no incentive to enjoy it anymore with the amount in which it suffers. And it's kind of created this, this paradigm where... Um, even the Counter-Strike players, I heard, are experiencing a bot crisis of their own right now, and the help has been minimal at best, from what I've heard, and TF2 players are sitting there like the meme, it's like, first time, um, in kind of this petty scoff at their, at their own suffering, and I sympathize with them greatly, because what's happening is basically exactly what we had, I suppose, as a, as a group, right, um, where... Mm. Or nobody wants to pay attention to us because, oh, you're just a, an old game. And of course, with the way the internet works nowadays, even a, a two-year-old or a five-year-old game is now old because of how fast the world moves. It's, it's really stupid, honestly. Um, so what can, we get, what can we do to fix this, right? What can we do to fix TF2 at the present moment? At the present moment... What we do is obviously band together and inform people on the matter. I don't think I need to say that. There's been a couple of YouTubers that I'll link in the description of this that have done an excellent job of explaining this whole uh, problem better than myself. But I believe that... Um, I believe that in order to actually put on the appearance of taking this remotely seriously, there has to be more of a communal sense around it because people, people just do not have the incentive to care anymore about th things and about the, the, the methods involved in which we do things because no, everyone wants, it's, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like who wants to play TF2 medic, but like who, who wants a medic on their team, but then who actually wants to play medic, right? Like nobody actually wants to play medic. And, um, it's really stupid because everyone's like, Oh, you got to be the change you want to see. And that's very true to, especially in this regard, because we're not going to get anywhere. If this, this sort of thing like continues where we're just kind of relying on the YouTubers to inform us of what's happening. They cannot be our spokespeople, although they certainly can be because they have the popularity. They shouldn't be the people we're relying on. We have to rely on ourselves and each other because if we actually want this game to... Oh, that was a good, that was a good kill. Yay. Um... If we actually want this game to continue to survive, and we don't want it to wind up being like one of those Ubisoft or Bethesda games or those Blizzard games where they say, oh, you don't actually own your game because it's digital and you don't have a physical copy and where you could threaten at any time to just take your game away. Like, I don't want to see a future where Valve gives up so completely on the game that they remove it off the face of the earth. Okay, I don't want to live in a world where that kind of thing happens. And in order to avoid that, I think this Fix TF2 campaign really is the best method in which to do so. And I encourage every single one of you to help out in whatever ways you can. And you might be wondering how in the world you'd be able to help with something so grandiose. And I'll tell you, it is simply... Um, Playing the game, maybe play it for like 10, 15, 20 minutes a day, or however long you play video games, and try to play community servers of a casual-ish nature. Try to play casual, and when you do play casual, and I actually encourage you to play casual, because I encourage you to actually utilize the Mega Anti-Cheat tool and learn how to operate it and install it, because... It would be very, very helpful for everybody if we all knew how to actually operate this. Because until Valve comes up with their own solution, 
we ought to use the community tools at hand. And until there's a better option, we use them. And so far, that tool really is the best option. Oh, that was a good rating. Um, the biggest problem, I think, is that nobody has created a hub of communication between people. Because... What I think people really need to glean from all of this is the knowledge that they can actually, uh, how do I put this? That they're not alone. Because there does seem to be a very large disconnect between YouTuber and common player and the average Joe when it comes to, to gaming, right? Um, because what winds up happening is that there's this very, especially nowadays when stuff is so heavily monetized and commoditized and you don't have this, this thing from the old internet called just doing it to have fun. Um, it creates this very large grift between people of this kind of false classism, this kind of fake elitism when it comes to um, playing games, where the, um, sorry for stuttering so much, I'm just trying to gather my thoughts. It creates this elitism where we kind of rely on the popular people because we don't believe enough in ourselves as people to actually make a difference because Everyone wants to be a YouTuber, and everyone wants to document their own experience, and everybody in this, that, and the other thing. And I think that's one of my favorite things about this thing I'm seeing on the internet recently, this return to the YouTube of old, where people just make things they enjoy, and they make the content that they like, and they just... They just talk, and they just talk about things. They, they talk about the things that they really enjoy, and they... Um, play a game over it, you know, or under it, I suppose, right? Um, and it's a, it's a difficult thing when you have this, um, nice. It's a difficult thing when you have that paradigm where you don't actually think your abilities are either worth anything or that they are actually, like, like it's actually possible to make any change that has any conducive value, right? And I don't believe that's true, and I completely discourage this method of thinking because as everybody's had in their examples, like the World of Warcraft examples or the Helldivers community, people can make a difference when they choose to. You just have to choose to commit to it, really. And I'm willing to commit to it. Um, and I would encourage everybody else to be on board with this as well, because I believe that if you want to continue playing this 17 year old game that for all we know is under threat of being um, purged and wiped off the face of the earth. I think the best method of that would be um, trying to participate in this save TF2 in this fixed TF2 campaign. Because the goals are very clear. We want casual mode fixed right now. Like, we're not asking for a, a, a revamped competitive mode. We're not asking for the game to go back to the quick play method it used to go to. We're not asking for, frankly, comparatively speaking, we're not asking for a lot. And we're simply asking that casual mode gets a look at. You know, it, it just gets fixed somehow they have the capabilities to do so people think they don't but they actually do 
And it is completely disingenuous to say that they possibly possess the capabilities to not, or, or that they don't, they don't possess the capabilities to fix their own game, right? It, it's, it's completely ludicrous to suggest that because plenty of other people do it better than they do. All they have to do is do what they do. And it's, it's difficult when they seem to choose to just not care two licks about it. Um, but I think the main focus... Ooh. Bonus! Yay! See, I'm not asking for them to, like, fix MVM or anything, because, like, I don't think anything's wrong, first of all. But, like, I don't... We're just asking that the main incentivized method of playing the game is treated properly. Because, other than that, like, what the heck are you doing, man? You know? And, uh, so, I think that what people can do to save TF2 is, first of all, um, spread the word, play the game, Hashtag fix TF2, hashtag save TF2, all that, you know, standard internet stuff. But then also, uh, can I put it here? Yeah, there we go. Um, but then also, I would suggest to everyone to make your own videos. Because it means something to people when we return to this YouTube of old and we do this old school internet thing where we just band together to actually achieve something we all want and where where we can appeal to the human senses of sympathy and respect through more genuine means through more raw means one could say like setting up OBS and recording a little bit of gameplay like, because most people nowadays have computers that can run TF2 and OBS together pretty well. So, I think as long as you can do that, um, probably going to be okay. Um, and I really would encourage everyone to... Haha, <laughs> got him. I would encourage everyone to play the game more. Like, really. Because we <laughs> we needs it, bro. We need the um, as many people to prove that they are real as possible. Because in this world of... Yes, I'm going to make this a philosophy type deal. But in this world where the... Where you can't trust anyone for Jack because you can't apply for a job online anymore due to most of the listings, if not all of the listings, being um, fake and put up by bots of their own in order to um, just farm um, uh, personal data and sell it to cont other countries like China, you know? This... This inability to do anything in the world is a very difficult thing. Sorry. Hold on. I believe that in this era of... <laughs> I believe that in this era of, really, the world being in a bot crisis of its own where job listings are being um, fished and scammed and they're being put up by bots of others left and right and no one cares to do anything about it because it farms your personal data and sells it to China. I believe that in, that, in this world, TF2 is kind of this escape for us where we just, we just want our nice thing back and the bots are basically the prime example of this is why we can't have nice things. Because if there's enough bad people to do enough bad things to something, 
the abuse will simply continue and it'll never get better because the selfish people will get what they want in the end and just make everyone mad because they don't get the thing they want and they make everyone else suffer for it and frankly I'm sick and tired of having to suffer for the bot hosters stupidity and whining about how games are hard and that they have to cheat in order to get what they want or that they get a high off of the reactions of other people like this I'm I'm disgusted and I want this to stop so I would suggest a third hashtag if you would um, just to humor me and just my own little side of the matter um, perhaps the hashtag kill all bots because there is no purpose for any of this there's no reason why there is no reason why this should continue for as long as it has and I'm done I'm not having it and this campaign this fixed TF2 campaign is gonna be the way to do it to fix it for me and if I'm crazy then I'm crazy but I'm gonna put all my faith into this because I really don't have any other choice and on the topic of people needing to communicate with one another um, it is my belief indeed it is my belief indeed that people need to be able to sympathize with one another and talk with one another about these these things that mean so much to us because we're all lonely it it really it feels very isolated this this place of how do i put it it feels like we're all just trying to swim uphill upstream right and we're in the rapids and we're just trying to ride the current out and hopefully it drops us off somewhere where we can you know survive and I don't want to simply survive I want to thrive and this TF2 community has proven to me more than once that people can bond together even if they have very varying belief systems they can bond together over the game they enjoy playing and come to some kind of agreement through discussions I mean I've had philosophical discussions with people through TF2 voice chat on 100% crit servers okay I really enjoy this game and I enjoy the people that it brings out you you meet some pretty awesome people and had it not been for TF2 or its subsequent source mod communities or any of its sub communities frankly I don't know where I'd be in life and I desperately want I, I desperately want that back I want that essence that TF2 gave me and it doesn't exist with bots and it doesn't really exist in community servers anymore because everyone simply just plays community servers because casual isn't available. It's, it is entirely fueled by pure nihilism. And that is not a healthy attitude to have towards any of this. And, okay, come on, come on, come on, get this guy, get this guy, get this guy. Ooh, he's dead. Okay, he's dead. Great. Um, it's my firm belief on the matter that we... We have to band together, we have to stick together, and we also have to actually, um... We also actually have to have a place to talk in. Because humans are ba are brought together through stories especially good stories and those good stories are really 
what keeps me playing the game. Stories of what the game used to be like back in its glory days. You know, back when I was just a wee lad and I... Listen, I'm I'm late to the curve and as far as TF2 goes. I'm I'm a new player as far as anybody is concerned because I'm I'm 19. I started playing this game like 2 years ago, but in that time I've met so many people and learned so many amazing things about the game and about games in general really through this. And I don't want to lose that. And I don't want to sacrifice all of that and lose it just because some bigwigs in an office don't give enough care about it. And so I I decided to do what I haven't seen anyone else do and make a Discord server um, where people can share their stories about TF2 and uh, plan activities around this campaign, this Save TF2 and Fix TF2 campaign, and where people can just be people and and just like their game. Because that's all... <laughs> that's all any of us want. We just... Sometimes we just want to play the game. And I'm one of those guys who really strives to play the game to win a lot. Like, I am an aggressively competitive player, which is why I joined a competitive team. But at this point, I just want to play the game, and I want to play it with real people. And I I don't want to play on Skial with the AFK bot thing, and I don't want to play it with, with... I don't want to play achievement servers or you know, weapon trading servers or anything like that. I just want to play the game really. I want to play the game the way... the way it was intended to be played. And... to not have that stinks. And I want it. So... this campaign, I believe, is the way to get it. And if you all think I'm crazy, that's okay. But I implore you all to install TF2 if you haven't already and just just give it a shot man try to play it and I hope that somehow you're able to have fun through all of the the mess this has been for us and um with that, with that I don't have too much else to say on the matter other than um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please join the Fix TF2 Discord server because I want this to be the central community hub. And I know I am by no means qualified to really do that because I'm not popular in the slightest. I'm no El Maxo. I'm no Lancador. I'm not Vorobe. I'm basically a nobody. But I still want to do my best to help this community out in the best way that I can and if you all could spread the word about the fix tf2 discord server and just try to help me out that way that would be amazing and help the tf2 community out in that way of course and um that's pretty much all I have to say just save tf2 fix tf2 and kill all bots Let's go, let's go, let's go! 
Here we go. No, oh shoot. That sucks. So in short, install TF2, learn how to operate Mega Scatter Bombs anti-cheat. Uh, because until Valve gets their act together, it doesn't seem like uh, we can use much else other than the community tools, right? And... Uh, Yes, I know, I know. What? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if there's any reasonable conclusion to this. I, this is going to be a pain in the butt to edit, because I talked really badly, but... Kind of. There's just not a lot I can say that people already haven't said. I think the raw experience would be just better. It's better suited for me. Thankfully, I'm going to come in soon because the last wave is almost over. I guess if there's one more thing to bring up, it's... Be optimistic, because this pessimism that I've been seeing going around from certain people is basically what's killing the game even further, because people just see TF2 now as this game where a bunch that a bunch of nihilists play just to be nihilistic because they don't have uh, treatment from their developers. And honestly, that is exactly what it looks like, and I don't want that image to be perpetuated anymore, so... In the end, just be optimistic, I suppose. Because at this point, it wouldn't kill you to try to be. Alright? So, with that, I bid you all farewell. Have a good day. Oh, look at that. We won the wave with an A-plus ranking. That's sweet.